You just can't say, I'm sorry, unless a divine impulse works in your life. No sinner, the carnal nature does not repent. God is so good, God says, you need to repent or I can't save you. Here is the capacity to repent. You need to confess. Here is the capacity to confess. You need to feel sorry. Here is some contrition. Now, isn't that someone who wants to save? This story is not real, but it makes a good point. A man was drowning. Someone came by in a boat and said, I'm going to save you. Hold on. And he had a tire attached to a rope, and he threw the tire to the guy. He said, hold on to that tire. I'll pull you in. I can't hold it. The man in the boat, he does, and he gives the guy hands. Miraculously, he says, now you have hands, grab it. Are you listening to me? Grab it. Here comes God in a boat. The world is drowning. And God says, I'm going to throw this tire called Jesus. Grab it. We say, we have no hands to grab it. God says, here's two hands called faith. Now exercise that faith and grab that. Are you following me? exercise faith and hold on to Jesus. I will pull you in. Accept what God has given. Let me close the book to let you know I'm finishing. Don't have a harder head than God. It's not possible. And many sinners will learn that in the flames of hell when their hard heads melt. Don't try to have a harder head than God. Let God save us. Let God have the determination to save us. Let us have the willingness to be saved. If God has been speaking to you, if circumstances in your life have made it clear, God is trying to tell you, give up that life. Give up that life. Stop that particular behavior. Stop it, says God. If you know God has been doing that, and we know, let's finally say, okay, Father, I lay down my opposition. I lay down my stubbornness. I accept your salvation. I confess my sins. Forgive me. Draw me into your arms. Keep me in your arms. Save me.